Welcome back. Tonight I'm obsessed with math, especially of the fuzzy variety. Case in point, outgoing Wisconsin Governor Scott Walker. He lost his bid for re-election to Democrat Tony Evers earlier this month. At the time, he said, in no way do I see it as a rejection, but rather just a larger election than we've seen in the past. As I said right here a few weeks ago, you got more votes than you did the last time, but the other guy got more votes than you did this time. You lost. But Walker is still at it. Here's his Twitter post from yesterday. We received more votes for governor than any other Republican. That is true. First of all, he was the only Republican running this year. But do you know who received more votes than every other Republican as well? Tony Evers, the Democrat, Wisconsin's governor-elect. But forget that, right? Scott Walker has snatched victory from the jaws of defeat, except he was defeated. And there was no victory. That's not how this works, Scott Walker. The losing Super Bowl team that scored more points than any other losing Super Bowl team in history still lost. Sorry, Tom Brady. That brings me to a well-known political saying that I just made up. The candidate who gets more votes wins, except if you're running for U.S. president. Elegant in its brevity, don't you think? Governor Walker, there's nothing wrong with being a successful loser. But in this case, it still means you lost. There's no shame in it. We'll be right back.